5.41 p.m. GMT 17.41.53 minutes. Oh, Hazard has open grass to run into down the left. There's one of those spaces. At his best he might just streak away, jink into the box and finish. But, after he gets inside the area, he seems to lose some confidence and stalls, checking back and allowing Otamendi to rob him. 5.39 p.m. GMT 17.39 row hit, at Roku Gang, at Nick Ham's 82 I think the first half by Sari was purposefully cautious, and as City continue to dominate possession and go for a goal in this second half, spaces will open up and Chelsea may look to take advantage of that, as they are never going to dominate possession here. February 24, 2019 Not an unreasonable reading. 5.37 p.m. GMT 17.37 50 minutes, Kepa fumbles a fairly standard De Bruyne cross and is lucky that Aguero has already run ahead of the ball. 5.35 p.m. GMT 17.35 48 minutes, I hope John Terry has his kit on just in case Chelsea win this, quips Allied. He's in the Sky Studio and has already slipped a few in. Meanwhile De Bruyne de Livers a dangerous ball from the right end, eventually, Fernandinho fires well over from range. Updated at 5.36 p.m. GMT 5.34 p.m. GMT 17.34 47 minutes, Pedro immediately makes a nice run down the right, is felled, and wins Chelsea a chance to load the box. Willian delivers into what is actually a very good area in the corridor of uncertainty, but they clear didn't load the box well enough because nobody attacks it. 5.33 p.m. GMT 17.33 p.m. The second half has commenced a goal? A chance? Something? 5.32 p.m. GMT 17.32 Manchester City substitution, company for Laporte, hamstring. Shouldn't change much, should it? 5.30 p.m. GMT 17.30 Don't forget that if it's still like this in around 50 minutes time, we will have extra time. If that's to be the case, let's hope it has at least opened up a bit by then. 5.24 p.m. GMT 17.24 Chucky writes, How many 0-0s zero to zeros is that from the top clubs this week across comps? Too many defensive coaches. Boring is. I think Jonathan Wilson had a point here. The P.E. Straight from kickoff Aguero tries to run past Jurgen Ho and is sent flying by a stray arm. Looks very painful but he gets up, City take the free kick and then win an early corner. Which is cleared by Barkley. Aguero after clashing with Jurgen Ho. Photograph, Tom Jenkins slash The Guardian updated at 4.40 p.m. GMT 4.30 p.m. GMT 16.30 p.m. Chelsea start ups off. The death of Sari Bala or the birth of something beautiful. 4.27 p.m. GMT 1627 Max Bertfield, at Max Elbertfield, at Nick Ams 82 Do London clubs historically have an advantage at Wembley, being it in London and all? February 24, 2019 It's an interesting question, to be fair. I doubt if I can find the answers in the next four minutes, but if anyone has stats to hand then do whack them over. 4.24 p.m. GMT 16.24 The teams are striding out at Wembley right now. There'll be meeting, greeting, pleasantries, anthems, and then we'll be away. The teams and mascots greet before kickoff. Photograph, David Klein slash writers updated at 4.34 p.m. GMT 4. 24 p.m. GMT 16.24 Sophie J. at Super Gunnabird, at Nick Ams 82 Don't know if you've heard. But there's another game on at the moment asterisk waves from the Emirates February 24, 2019 Oh gosh, yes, and shame on me because I'm writing this a mere hop, skip, jump from Arsenal's home. They beat Southampton 2-0 with early Lacazette and Katarian goals. 4.18 p.m. GMT 16-18 Joe Pearson writes, perversely, with respect to Europa League qualification, it doesn't matter who wins this final. Presuming the standings hold. If Chelsea wins, they qualify automatically. If City wins, the qualification falls to Chelsea. That is true and a good point. The stakes for Chelsea and Sarri are even higher than that though, I think. 
4.14 p.m. GMT 16.14 so does Pip, briefly. The 6-0 was an incredibly important result for us but today is a final, a different competition, and hopefully we can play the game like a final deserves to be played. 4.12 p.m. GMT 16.12 Sari speaks. We have played every three days sin. I the 6-0 so it's difficult to work on the pitch. We have talked a lot to try and improve. Two months ago we played City and won with a match of very great application. We know we can do better and better. I cannot understand why you ask me about his future because you know very well I can only give my opinion. You have to ask the club. We were not regaled with his opinion. Updated at 4.12 p.m. GMT 4.04 p.m. GMT 16.04 Chelsea playing the same front line that beat City 2-0 late last year, notes Neil Bailey, and he has a point. Strange game, that was, because Chelsea got a grip of it after reverting very much to plan B, seeding possession, basically. 3.59 p.m. GMT 15.59 It finished goalless at Old Trafford, and was rather a slog. Half an hour till this one now. 3.57 p.m. GMT 15.57 Very nice from Paul Wilson, this, on how Chelsea could learn from City's example, City's devotion to one man and one idea a stark contrast to Chelsea's blues Paul Wilson read more 3.51 p.m. GMT 15.51 th. Equality in United v Liverpool has been, lacking, shall we say. We'll get better at Wembley, surely. Chelsea fans, right call to leave Nguyen on the bench. 3.42 p.m. GMT 15.42 Don't know if you've heard, but there's another game on at the moment. Simon Burnton will take you through the delicately poised last knockings of Manchester United v Liverpool and then I'll have much more from this one. Get your thoughts and predictions into me, in the meantime. Manchester United v Liverpool, Premier League, live. Read more 3.36 p.m. GMT 15.36 Team News Chelsea, Kepa, Asia Pilacuda, Rudiger, David Luiz, Emerson, Canty, Jurgen Ho, Barkley, Willian, Hazard, Pedro. Subs, Caballero, Christensen, Kavakic, Loftus-Cheek, Hudson-Odoi, Garud, Higwin. Manchester City, Ederson, Zinchenko, Laporte, Otamendi, Walker, Fernand Dinho, Silva, De Bruyne, Bernardo, Sterling, Aguero. Subs, Murek, Danilo, Company, Gundogan, Sane, Mares, Foden. Strong from City, with Ederson in goal rather than Murek, who wow. D usually expect to play in this competition. Guardiola is clearly desperate for the win. No Hudson Odoi from the start for Chelsea despite his goal against Malmo on Thursday, but Jurgen Ho and Hazard are among those to return, and Barkley starts. Higwin is on the bench. Presumably we will see Hazard as false nine, which tends to work well against lesser teams but not against good ones. Updated at 3.54 p.m. GMT 1.07 p.m. GMT 13.07 Hello. The sun's out in North London. Wembley looks resplendent, you'd almost think it is May. But this is the League Cup final, rather than the FA Cup final, and the storylines around this one might well keep us going until the latter. Manchester City will be gagging to tick off the first of a potential four trophies, and retain this one in the process, make no mistake about that. If they lose today then the chance to achieve something historic, if not massively likely, is gone. But for Chelsea there is something quite different at play. Chelsea last 1th. Is competition four years ago and would love to again. Should they fall short then you'd fancy that Maurizio Sarri is done for, that Chelsea's revamp is over before it really began and that an exhausting cycle of upheaval starts over again? It was a 6-0 defeat at City a mere fortnight ago that suggested the goose was cooked. Anything close to that would surely seal the deal today although I am for one, suspect we're in for something much chancier because that is how football tends to go. Players want to win stuff, that's the bottom line, and Chelsea's team of seasoned internationals will be desperate to do that today. There's no way City are six goals better than Chelsea on a normal day, 
This isn't a normal day but it's a cup final and that's usually a great leveler. Will it be enough? My view, whatever happens today you can't ditch Sari, because it was obvious before they even got him in that he wasn't simply an instant results guy, that this would take a year or two to develop. And if they go away from that now then, under the current ownership, Chelsea are just going to confirm themselves as a basket case. Do what City did with Pip and let things grow over a quietish first campaign. Has Sari been hoist by the petard of such a fantastic start to the season, which even saw Chelsea being breathlessly suggested as title contenders in those early weeks? I think that, too. The football in recent weeks really hasn't been good but he needs longer to get his own people, and ideas, in, not just Jurgen Ho whose new status as the fans' fall guy seems entirely unreasonable and simply a deflection. Anyway, will today be the day it all turns for Chelsea and Sari? Is this all just a jaunty diversion from the inevitable either way? Is it the start of something quite fabulous for a city side who haven't always reached last season's heights? So much to ponder, so little time, we're off, off and away at 4.30pm UK time. So get your thoughts in via email and slash or Twitter right now. Updated at 1.10 p.m. GMT. Endulam always swings. 5.22 p.m. GMT 17.22 Regarding that question on London clubs at Wembley, Phil West has crunched some of the numbers so the rest of us didn't have to. Since 1900, according to Wiki, London clubs playing non-London clubs in the FA Cup final are 28-14 to 14 ahead. There are also a few occasions where two London teams were involved, but I ignored them. I'm not sure if this means anything though, as years ago it was quite common for less successful teams to have a cup run only to lose in the final. Comparing results since the year 2007 gives a 6-2 score in favour of London teams. 5.18 p.m. GMT 17-18 halftime, Chelsea 0-0 Manchester City nobody would say this has been much good. But, in fairness to Chelsea, it's probably gone as Sari intended. They have kept City at arm's length and limited them to half chances at best. 5.17 p.m. GMT 17-17-45 plus 2 minute, almost severe embarrassment for Otamendi as he heads a Chelsea free kick towards his own goal, with no opposition player near. R, and sees it fly only narrowly wide as Ederson dives desperately. So Chelsea have a corner with the half's last action, but it causes no danger. 5.15 p.m. GMT 17.15 45 minutes, first real bit of spark from Hazard, who does well to outdo Laporte but then, with men arriving very late in support, tries to do a bit too much in a tight space and sees City eventually block his attempt on goal. Hazard has his shot blocked by Sela. Photograph BPI slash Rex slash Shutterstock updated at 5.31 p.m. GMT 5.13 p.m. GMT 17.13.43 minutes, another city corner, now, and they're applying some real pressure again. David Louise beats Laporte to it, but that's not the end of the story. Zinkenko plays the ball in again and Otamendi, ghosting in at the back post as a minute previously, gets a toe to the ball but not with enough power to beat Kapot. 5.12 p.m. GMT 17.12.42 minutes, William concedes a free kick on the right after Chelsea lose the ball in their own half three times in quick succession while passing out aimlessly in pursuit of nothing. It's another very dangerous area. De Bruyne's cross again goes beyond everybody but Sterling, delivering from the left, sees his ball kept alive acrobatically by Atmendi at the far post. It looks good, but Chelsea clear. 5.09 p.m. GMT 17.09.39 minutes, De Bruyne, with a smart touch past David Luiz, reaches the byline but overhits his cross. Sterling, on the other side, twists Age Pilacuda about sublimely at first but eventually runs out of space and Chelsea earn a goal kick. Sterling takes on Age Pilacuda. Photograph Glenn Kirk slash AFP slash Getty Images updated at 5.15 p.m. GMT 5.07 p.m. GMT 17.07.37 minutes. It really has been low on excitement so far, let's be honest. Sari has gone for get a result and save my job tactics, 
and I've seen nothing to suggest they don't have a chance of squeaking it out that way. City aren't moving the ball as they can and chances aren't really coming. 5.04 p.m. GMT 17.04.34 minutes. It's not much but we are seeing a bit more from Chelsea now. Canty tries to get away. Down the right but can't reach it. City still have the initiative though and force an awkward hack away from Rudiger just outside the six-yard box. 5.02 p.m. GMT 17.02.32 minutes. Chelsea enjoy a little play around the city box. Now, and Fernand Ho has to be well positioned to stop Hazard latching onto a floated Jurgen Ho ball into the area. 5.00 p.m. GMT 1700 hours 31 minutes, which is delivered by De Bruyne, who has been quiet so far, but Chelsea cope just fine. 5.00 p.m. GMT 1700 hours 30 minutes, that's a deserved yellow card for David Luiz who agriculturally dumps Bernardo Silva over as the city man wriggles deftly away from him near the right byline. Dangerous free kick here. 4.58 p.m. GMT 16.58 28 minutes, a shot on target from Aguero, who links with David Silva before firing one from 20 yards, slightly deflected, that k dives onto and holds. Aguero shoots, but it's deflected by Luis. Photograph. Tom Jenkins slash The Guardian updated at 5.04 p.m. GMT 4.57 p.m. GMT 16.57 Optijo, at Optijo, 25, as of the 25th minute there has been just one shot and zero goals, at this exact stage of the league meeting between these sides two weeks ago Manchester City were winning 4-0. Quiet. PIC.twitter.com slash 8dkh7b10 February 24th. 2019 so, in fairness, it's going as Harry probably hoped. 4.56 p.m. GMT 16.56 26 minutes, but now Chelsea do have an attack, sweeping upfield adroitly, and earn a free kick midway inside the city half, a little to the right. It's their first real chance to put some pressure on. William arrows it to the back stick, Pedro heads down but nobody is poised to latch onto it. Updated at 4.56 p.m. GMT 4.54 p.m. GMT 16.54 25 minutes, if you were Hazard you'd probably rather be in Madrid than chasing waste paper like this. 4.52 p.m. GMT 16.52 22 minutes, best bit of action so far, Bernardo Silva floats a lovely right to left ball over Asia Pilacuda and Aguero, deep inside the box chests down and sets himself before lashing over from an awkward angle. Aguero shoots over. Photograph, Andrew Caldridge. Slash action images by Reuters updated at 5.01 p.m. GMT 4.51 p.m. GMT 16.51 21 minutes, little comes of it. But it's only City doing any attacking. We've not seen Hazard at all yet. 4.50 p.m. GMT 16.50 20 minutes, maybe possession from the back will die and football will evolve to the extent that, in five years' time, everyone is playing percentage football and the real heroes are generation of miniature Dave Bassets. While we ponder that, Rudiger defends well from a dangerous Bernardo Silva ball and it's another city corner. 4.48 p.m. GMT 16.48 18 minutes, some fairly heavy city pressure, now but Louise clears two crosses from the left. Chelsea are sitting off until City get 15 yards into their half. 4.46 p.m. GMT 16.46 17 minutes, k looks dodgy with the ball at his feet so far, which doesn't help the previous point. 4.45 p.m. GMT 16.45 16 minutes, the thing is that Chelsea insist on passing the ball around from the back even though there are no options to progress the move and City keep pressing the aggress. Ivly. So the ball gets given away every single time. I know it's the way everyone has to play now but it so often becomes frayed and useless. You're probably not going to score the perfect goal from there, guys, so why not do it as and when? 4.43 p.m. GMT 16.43 13 minutes. Laporte feeds David Silva in a nice little pocket of space but his touch uncharacteristically lets him down. It's been a reasonably drab start, overall. 
4.42 p.m. GMT 16.42 12 minutes, J.R. in Illinois frothing. Have you rewatched what Yurjinho did to Aguero in the first second of the game? It was not a stray arm by Yurjinho. It was a deliberate elbow aimed squarely at Aguero's face. He didn't make a clean connection, just a glancing blow, but it was as clear a red card offense as you'd want to see. And Moss was standing five feet away. Unbelievable. I'll have to watch again at halftime. It would, and seemingly should, have been pretty much the quickest red card in history. 4.40 p.m. GMT 16.40 10 minutes, fairly clear, n. Out, that Chelsea are taking the conservative approach. But they cause a flutter now as a long switch from Emerson beats a badly positioned Laporte and almost sends Kante running clear. He is blocked off, legally, by Zinkenko but there were some brief howls of anguish from their fans. Kante goes to ground under pressure from Zinkenko. Photograph, Nick Potts slash PA updated at 4.46 p.m. GMT 4.38 p.m. GMT 16.38 8 minutes, the referee is Jonathan Moss. By the way, City keep pressing but Chelsea are offering up some spicy challenges and don't look like giving up chances easily just now. Rudiger has stepped in well a couple of times already. 4.36 p.m. GMT 16.36 5 minutes, yes, it's a good start from City and now Aguero benefits from a ricochet and surges down the right, claiming a handball after a defender blocks his cross. Nothing is given. 4.33 p.m. GMT 16.33 3 minutes, City keeping the ball well early on. Has Sari gone for the template that beat them in December? 4.31 p.m. GMT 16.31 1 minute, blime it, literally.